Welcome, children of God, to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. And he will show us what he wrote for us to know. Oh, only, only Father God, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, thy is the power, thy is the glory forever and ever. And thy son that you gave to us to be a God to us and a father unto us. The Lord, he's my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for thy name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And thank you, Grandfather God. And thank you, Lord and Savior, who believe. Please. Have mercy upon your children. The children of God, welcome back to RunAllGodsChildren.com. We're going to read about in the prophets. In the prophets, St. John, the sixth chapter, the 45th verse. It is written in the prophets and they shall be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hear and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. Yes, we have to go to our Lord and Savior because I explained to you his father told him to sit down. He'll make this world his footstool. What is he going to do? Our Lord and Savior, I read to you, is the creator of everything. And his, the only Father God, is the voice from heaven. Read for yourself. In St. John, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse, it is written, Jesus asked the Father, the only Father God, to glorify his name. Read what the only Father God told his son. Our Lord God and our Savior and the only Father God is who I called on. Our Lord God Almighty, I read, our Lord was formed. It is written, Jesus created everything, and his Father, the only Father God, formed our 
our Lord and Savior, who believe our Lord God's word. When everyone knows that the only Father God will make this world our Lord and Savior footstool, the children will know who the only Father is. In the prophets, St. Mark, the first chapter, the second verse, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. How would you know if the Lord God sent a messenger? It is written in the promise of our Lord gave to us. The holy book is the law of our Lord and Savior. I want to know, do any of God's children know how to tell God's messenger? What do you know about the only Father God who believe our Lord God's word? Everyone will know our Lord God and Savior. The only Father God also. They will know. It is written in the law of the holy book. In the prophets, Acts, the 13th chapter, the 40th verse, beware therefore that at least that come upon you which spoken of in the prophets. I had to read all of chapter 13 in Acts to find out what the prophets spoke about our Lord and Savior. The word by Paul to the people that they should beware. Now I say unto all God's children, beware. I called on the Lord and Savior and the only Father God to claim what is written in the prophets and read it to you. In the Revelation, I will read to you, Christ has a son who believe our Lord God's word. And they shall, cited from Isaiah, the 54th chapter, the 13th verse, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children. Right now I testify, they do not teach what our Lord God hates or what our Lord God wrote to us that we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Do they teach God's children how to find wisdom or how to be a man before our Lord and Savior, our God? See, when you've something before our Lord and God, you are before the only Father also. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. I receive my testimony to read to all God's children. You are my witnesses to what I read is what our Lord is going to show us. I have learned of, have learned of, Jeremiah, 
the 31st chapter, the 34th verse. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. Their iniquity. I N I Q U I T Y. Immoral are grossly unfair behavior. Yes, that's us. We cannot call the one that knows everything, we cannot call him a lie. He wrote about us and how we are, how we turned away from him. And because of lack of knowledge, we are destroyed. But he's going to change all that. But first, the only father Told his son to sit down. What is he going to do? Oh, my Lord and Savior. I read to the children what wisdom is. Oh, only Father God. In our Lord and Savior name, please give them wisdom. That you and your son gave to me. They gave me wisdom. And I say it again to you as I said it through this whole year. It is a fearful thing to come into the hands of the Lord. And when I receive my testimony, I can tell you what happened. It's a fearful thing. Please, my Lord and Savior, Show them that I called on my only Father God and my Lord and Savior. As I said to you, I'm trying to be the son of Jesus Christ to show all God's children that we are the children of our Lord and Savior. And his father gave a God to us that he formed. Oh, please, only Father God, show them. You told your son to sin out. Have learned of Mecca, M I C A H, one of the prophets. Mecca, the fourth chapter, the second verse. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The world will know our Lord and many nations will come to the mountain of the Lord. It is written, knowledge will go all over the world. Who believe our Lord God's word? My prayer. I give to you what I promise. 
and I'm not going to go back on my promise. I promise only, Father God, in the name of your only Son, our Lord God. I promise to read, to only read from the testimony I received. I promise to read, telling the children to read for yourself. You stand alone before God. I promise to press on towards the prize of the upward calling of our Lord God in Christ. Jesus. I promise not to say your words mean this or your words mean that. Only Father God, I read the promise so the children can hear my vow. To the only Father God and only Son our Lord and Savior. I'm the runner for the prize in the Holy Book to share with all God's children. Amen. I was on the phone talking to a young lady doing something that I was trying to get something changed. Her name was Shankakan, C H A N I K A. And I told her, she asked me how I was doing and what I was doing. I told her I was at the computer um, writing out what I'm going to say to you this day. And she said, what is that? I said, well, I'm running in the race. I called on the Lord 40 years ago, and they gave me the holy book. And I found out that I'm running in the race. So all I can do is read what God wrote to us. And this is what he's going to do. And... I also told her runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is going to teach everybody a lesson. But first, his father told him to sit down. He's going to make this world his footstool. And what is happening right now is just a beginning. Because I told her, and I told you, by 2024, you will recognize our Lord, and not only our Lord, his Father. For Jesus said, glorify thy name. And then there came a voice from heaven saying, I will both glorify and I will glorify it again. What is he going to do? So I say unto you, either do right or do wrong. Learn what our Lord and Savior like. I read that to you, what he delights. It ain't you learning about what he do for you. It's learning about him. Learning about what he dislikes and what he likes. Learning about him what he told us about evil. Knowing a nation divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. For he wrote that to us. Turning the way of the simple shall slay him, and prosperity of fools shall destroy him. 
for my children are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. I read to you knowledge of the holy gives you understanding. But there's many things that I have written and I hope I can find someone that is sincere enough to help me put all this that I have been doing over the years into a book. Because since nobody believed me in none of the houses, which is called a house of prayer, but they call it many things, and they changed it, but he even said there are a multitude of business, but it ain't that. I, I don't like repeating something that I'm going to put it in my words. I will find it and I will read it to you. But what it boils down to, one God, one God. That our father, the only father, and I like to call him grandfather because I will be a son of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is written in the prophets, but that's written in the prophecy of Jesus Christ. That's what the revelation is. What Jesus said, what Jesus wrote to us, what will happen. So children of God, thank you for 2021 coming to runallgodschildren.com. And I promise. that Jesus will show you and the only father told his son sit down he'll make this world his footstool and I hope he don't get us Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He can show us what he wrote to us because this is the last time the truth will be read. Take care of yourself. Until Saturday, beginning of a new year.